we move on to sports and here's Charles Aruka. Thanks, Ijoma. Welcome to Sports News. Roger Federer has withdrawn from this year's French Open after failing to recover from a back injury. The 34-year-old did not play in the Madrid Open earlier this month after hurting his back during practice for the tournament. Federer returned for the Italian Open but was beaten in the third round by Dominic Thiem. It means he will miss a Grand Slam for the first time this century. Meanwhile, Russian Tennis Federation President Shamil Tarpishev has backtracked swiftly after suggesting Maria Sharapova's tennis career may be over. Tarpishev said, quote, I only said that she can't play now because no ruling on her case has been issued. End of quote. Sharapova is provisionally banned by the International Tennis Federation after testing positive for meldonium at the Australian Open. The former world number one is not expected to learn whether she'll be handed a longer ban until June at the earliest, with the ITF considering WADA recommendations that a lack of scientific information means it's unclear how long meldonium remains in a person's system. He only gave a negative assessment on whether these recommendations could play into Sharapova's favor. And in football, former French international David Ginola has suffered a suspected heart attack and airlifted to hospital. However, the 49-year-old later blamed his illness on playing football in the searing afternoon heat. The former PSG and Newcastle United star had been playing golf with other personalities at Mandalier before he fell ill and was taken to Monaco's Princess Grace Hospital. And back home, Sunshine Stars striker Okikia Falabi has been named Nigeria Professional Football League and PFL Player of the Month. Okiki edged out Anthony Usu of Heartland, Chinonso Okonkwo of Rivers United, and Esosa Igminoba of Nasarawa United to clinch the award. Rangers boss Imama Amapakabo was picked as Manager of the Month for the second time after he was voted the best manager in March. Amapakabo beat the trio of Solomon Ogwede of Sunshine Stars, Ard Slyes of Warri Wolves, and Kennedy Boboye of Abia Warriors to top the award. And boxing great Manny Pacquiao has won a seat in the Philippine Senate, bringing him closer to a possible shot at the presidency. The 37-year-old has indicated in the past that he would consider running for the country's highest office, although he has also admitted to being too young for the position. Pacquiao secured over 16 million votes for seventh place among 12 winning senators in the elections and could now test his popularity by declaring for future presidential polls. Well, that's it on Sports News and back to Ijoma with the rest of the news at 10. A major investigation has begun after an Egyptian air passenger, a passenger jet, disappeared over the Mediterranean. Greece's defense minister said the radar showed the aircraft made two sharp turns and dropped more than 25,000 feet before plunging into the sea. Egypt Air flight carrying 66 passengers and crew from Paris to Cairo went missing on Thursday, disappearing from radar. <laughs> Aboard the flight were 30 Egyptians, 15 French nationals, two Iraqis and one person each from Britain, Canada, Belgium, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Algeria, Sudan, Chad and Portugal. Families of the passengers rushed to Cairo International Airport shortly after dawn, while the Egyptian and Greek military scrambled aircraft and boats to search for the plane. Hours later, French President Francois Hollande says all information confirms that the plane has indeed crashed. However, both French and Egyptian officials have refused to be drawn on what brought down the plane, with Egypt's Prime Minister saying it is too early to rule out or confirm anything. We cannot dismiss or confirm anything at the current time. Our search efforts have to be concluded and the committees have to do their work, and then we will be able to say what exactly the situation is and the reasons. Also, France, which has 15 citizens on board, plans to send boats and planes to help search for the aircraft. 
And the main news again. There are indications that a second girl kidnapped from Chibok has been found in Borno State. Army spokesman Colonel Sani Usman confirmed this in a text message to our correspondent. And this is coming just two days after Amina Ali was found in Dambwa. Meanwhile, rescued schoolgirl Amina Ali today met with the president at the presidential villa in Abuja with an assurance that the government will take care of her education and upkeep. Amina was accompanied by her mother, brother and the Borno State Governor Kashim Shetima. And Egypt air officials have retracted an earlier claim of having found the wreckage of flight MS-804 which crashed in the early hours of today in the Mediterranean. Well, that's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks a lot for staying with us. I'm Ijo Mako Nyato. Good night.